Hi Draw Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to be drawing something that has been highly requested at Draw So Cute. We will be drawing a pug that wants to be a unicorn. Put them together and they make a unipug or puggy corn depending on how you want to call it. So get your sharpie or your pencil ready and your paper and let's get started on drawing this super cute little dog. To draw this puggy corn or unipug, we're going to first start by drawing its nose. So I'm going to start right here and just draw a small curve. So this is going to be right in the center and we're going to start to draw his nose. Just round it off on the corner and then we're going to bring it down to a V right in the center. So we have his nose in. Then from there, let's come to the center right here. We're just going to draw a straight line down. Say about that much. And from there, we're going to flare it out with two curves. So just two slight curves on both sides. And there, <laughs> pretty cute already, right? <laughs> okay, from there, we're just going to come around and bring it back to the nose. So come right here, and we're just going to go around and bring it back up here. There, it's just nice and round. So same thing over here. All the way back up to his nose. There. And then right in between, right here, we're going to draw a curve to connect it. And then we're pretty much done with his nose and his mouth. You can come in here. Since we're here, might as well just add three little dots for where his whiskers would go. Okay, so then from there, let's add his eyes. We're going to come to the side right here and give him some big pug eyes. Two big circles right on the side. All right there. And let's make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to make one really big to highlight. And then a smaller one. And then right here. Add a curve at the bottom. So the big, bigger highlight just makes it look a little bit more magical. <laughs> so it's all up to you. And the lines at the bottom. So same thing right here. So a bigger highlight and a smaller one. Curve line at the bottom, shade in the top and the lines at the bottom. There. Okay, so then from there, let's start to draw his face. So to make it a little bit easier, let's come to where his eyes are. Um, but right here, I'm just going to give myself a point. So I'm basically just going to start to draw a curve around his face. So about right here, I'm going to start and I'm going to flare it out. So it's kind of wider in the cheek area. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. So about right here, same thing. And then I'm going to bring it pretty close to the mouth. So let's come around. And same thing right here. So we're going to slowly build his face and connect it. There. So then let's go up now. We're going to go up a little bit higher. So we're going to give him some room. So we're going to draw the wrinkles on his face. So about right there. Let's go up. Right there, bring a curve down and then connect it. There. Okay, so then now we can go in very lightly now that we have this face in. Let's come up top right here. I'm just going to draw a curve above his eye. So this is going to be very lightly. It's one curve. And then we're going to come, let's say about right here, very lightly. I'm going to give myself a point in the center. And I'm just going to go very lightly up on both sides. If you don't like the harsh, dark lines, you can just do this when you're coloring, maybe with a, like a light brown. So from there, let's start to draw this onesie that he's wearing to make him a unicorn, a puggy corn, I mean. So let's come right above his head, right in the center, and I'm going to draw the horn. So give yourself a little bit of space and about right here. Draw a curve and I'm just going to start to draw the horn. So I'm going to go straight up to the center just to make it a little bit easier. Give myself a point 
And from there, I'm going to round it off a little bit and bring it right down. And you can come in here with some curves, maybe three of them. details to the horn and then let's draw the little fur that's around the horn so let's say about right here I'll start and I'm just gonna curve it down close to the face flare it out so imagine this going around so maybe right there I'll zigzag one maybe another one just want to make it fluffy <laughs> and connect it there. Then from there, we're going to come about right here. And we're going to start to finish off his um, little onesie hat right here. So hoodie, I mean. So let's come down. So we're basically following the shape right here. It's on the inside. So same thing on the other side. About right here. And let's go all the way around. Fat cheeks. And as we come down here, it's going to be a lot thinner, so just watch for that. Come down here closer to the bottom. And now we're just going to go ahead and connect it. There. Okay, so now let's come back up here and give it the unicorn ears. So about right here. Just pop out an ear, round off the corner right here, and back down. And let's get some details inside the ear. So same thing on the other side. Just going to drag some points right there. I'll just let's see here, about right there. Eyeball it. <laughs> And round it off and bring it back in. And once again, some details inside for the ear. And that is pretty much it for the head. So now let's come um, about right here. We're going to start to draw his body. So I'm going to give two little curves right here. I'm going to center these curves about right there and right there. Just for the fold, the fat part in the pug. And another one. there and then come in very lightly just bring in a line another one the folds that pugs have okay so then from there let's bring this down so I'm gonna come about right here and we're gonna start to draw his front his body and his legs I mean his arms. <laughs> okay, so let's bring this down more. And about right there, I'm gonna come to the center right here for his front legs. So about right there and right there. I'm forming the um, front legs right now. And so this part, I'm gonna bring it down and continue this. And let's curve it out. So about right there, I'll curve it out. And connect. And let's come in here with two little curves. And so same thing on this side. So just watch for about the same level and then we're going to bring it out. So same thing, come out a little bit, round it off, and connect. And once again, the two little curves. And so then right in between here, we're going to about right here, let's come give yourself a point, and we're going to draw a curve that comes slightly up. So the reason we want it slightly up is because we're just going to show a little bit of the back leg right here. So just draw a little curve. And a little curve inside, just an indication. And then let's come right here to the side and we're gonna draw his um, side right here, his back leg. So I'll say about right here. I'll draw a curve, make him nice and fat. 
and then another one all the way down and about right here bring in another curve and tuck it in for his back feet and a little curve inside so let's see here so that's pretty much it for his body and then let's come in here and give him a uh, a little bow right here so just a very simple bow two loops that connect in the center and come in here very lightly draw the center and give it right there and then let's see here let's um if you want to give this uh, puggy corn some wings come out right here and you can just pop out a wing if you want so about right here i felt like i had to add it it just makes it extra cute so bring it down and about right here we'll just start bringing it in and i'm just going to add two curves on bring it back in and then right in the center here just add two little curves for some detail so same thing on this side. So go right there. And curve. One, two. And right here, same thing. Just two little curves. And last but not least, let's add a little heart right here. So he's my just so cute puggy corn. So there, hope you guys love this drawing of this pug that wants to be a unicorn. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up, share it, and remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.